Lastly, another tab that you're going to be using quite frequently in Civil 3D is the Analyze tab. You can find this tab up at the top, right here, right next to Modify, click on Analyze, and then you get this brand new panel. Now, there's a lot of different functions within this panel, but I'd like to keep things simple. For example, I'd like to focus on the Volumes and Materials panel within this particular tab. If I click on the Volumes dashboard, we get the Panorama palette, which I showed in a previous video with regards to the Prospector and the tool space. You can see this little button right here. You can click that button to turn it off, click it again to turn it back on. I'm going to go ahead and click on this button to create a brand new volume surface. Now you might ask yourself, what is a volume surface? Well, a volume surface compares something like an existing grade surface and your proposed grade surface. So it'll compare or analyze the difference between these surfaces to calculate some volumes for cut and fill. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on this button. Then we get our Create Surface dialog box. For the base surface, I'm going to select EG for existing grade. Click OK. And then for a comparison surface, I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to go with my corridor surface. Then click OK. And then Civil 3D does a quick cut and fill calculation for us. You can see some of these numbers for the cut and for the fill and the net adjustment. So these are just some of the typical items that you're going to be playing with when it comes to dealing with Civil 3D objects and analyzing those particular objects.